I found an inexpensive PC board depaneling tool on Amazon. Let's try it out. Welcome back to Cloud42, I'm James. In a previous video, I showed the process of breaking up or depaneling PC boards after assembly. Now, breaking them up by hand worked, but it was pretty time consuming if you have to do a lot of them, and I have to do a lot of them. So I thought I would look for a better way to do it. I found an inexpensive depaneling tool on Amazon and thought it was worth a shot. Um, I'm just gonna roll camera on this. I have not tried this yet, but I figured as long as I was on the topic, I might as well beat this dead horse properly. This is the tool that I found. It's made by Heiko. Uh, you can see the part number on there. There will also be a link down in the description. They call it the DP24N. Now this they advertise as a depaneling tool and they make these in a whole bunch of widths. See if you can see the end of this. Uh, the way it works is there's essentially a little hook here and a couple of shearing edges. And as you squeeze it, the tip squeezes down with kind of a double scissor action. The idea being that if you have panelized PC boards that have tabs holding them on, this will shear through a tab. And they come in several different widths, and this is the 2.4 millimeter one, but they make them in a number of different widths. The idea being that you match the size of the tool to the width of the grooves in your panelized PC boards. Now I did these 100 thou, so these are 2.54 millimeter, and I wanted a tool that was just a little bit narrower than that, so I picked out the 2.4 millimeter tool and figured we'd give this a try. Now, it's not ideal for this. The advertisement, uh, or the description for the tool says that this will handle a tab of two and a half millimeters in width, or they call it a two and a half millimeter isthmus, is what the documentation says. And I know that these are almost four millimeters wide, but I figured it was worth giving it a shot anyway. And so um, I went ahead and picked one up and it looks to me like it might work. So, I mean, we can just give it a try. Now, the tabs that I have here on the ends of the board, on these little strips, these are actually wider than 2.4 millimeters, which means that instead of cutting through the little mouse bite holes, the tool would be trying to shear the raw PC board. I really don't want to do that, so I think I'm just going to snap these off. And the ideal tool for that would be something that has parallel jaws. I tried this with a pair of blunt nose pliers, but because the jaws aren't parallel, it didn't really grip very well. So I got a new pair of Nipex pliers. Let's try those. And the first thing I can see is that getting the right depth on here is the hardest part, but the grip is very nice. So it actually might be worth on these pliers just super gluing a little strip of material to one of the jaws to act as a fence so that I can just stick it in the right spot and just grab and, and break. But um, I'll leave that for future experiments. Now that I've got that broken off, the only thing left to do is try out the tool. Let's see. So that fits on and it goes into the slot and it goes across the isthmus there pretty easily and see what happens when I squeeze it. And it just snips through it like it was nothing. That is beautiful. I actually really like that. is much quicker than doing it by hand. It looks like it's a pretty clean cut. I'll try to get a close up of that here in a minute and see. Let me just go ahead and finish popping through this board and see how fast it really is if you got a lot of them. Okay. I like, this is actually a really nice tool. Um, when I did this before, the problem is you could very easily just snap these apart, 
But once you've done that, then you're left with the little tab stuck to one side. And breaking those off and grabbing them precisely ended up being a, a very difficult uh, proposition and time-consuming proposition. Here are a couple of tabs that were broken off, and you can see the residual that's remaining. Especially over here on this side, you can see that there's a little bit of fiberglass sticking out. It's not super clean. This isn't a big deal, but you know, if you ran your finger over that, you could get a pretty good scratch. Um, probably not a big safety issue, just more of a kind of a, a handling issue or a, uh, a feeling of quality when you're handling the board. Here on the other side are two of the tabs that were sheared off with the tool. And you can see they're very clean. You can still see the mouse bites. You can still see where the holes were. But in addition to being fast, they're actually quite clean. This is uh, something that I'm very happy to have on my boards and you can feel that it's there, but it's definitely not sharp in any way. Let's take a look at the end of the tool. So I was a little bit concerned about how fast this thing would wear, but the material seems to be standing up to this pretty well. I've only done a few of these boards, but you can see the bluing or the surface finish has come off the tool. Um, but nothing else, the, the edge still looks to be in really great shape. It's nice and square. The anvil edges look pretty good. Um, it looks like a quality tool. Looks like it's gonna hold up. Let me see what happens if I try to cut one of these tabs on the side that's actually too wide. Okay, that's still better than breaking it off with the other tool. The little pieces do jam up down here in the tool itself, in the little gap there, and it's okay, but it means that it doesn't open on its own. I gotta get a finger behind it and pop it open. And that's a little bit irritating, but I think it's still worth it given the, given the, the speed with this tool. Um, I think it's still gonna use it. Well, I got a whole bunch more panels to do, so I will let you get back to what you were doing. I just found this on Amazon, thought it was worth a try. If you're enjoying these videos, please give me a thumbs up, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. I'd like to know what you think. Thank you for watching.